Hello kids! I just wanted to make a really quick video discussing the State of the Union address and kind of some critiques that I've been heard given that are getting no clout in dun da da corporate media. Let's talk about it. So I thought it would be a good idea to talk about some of the things that are being pointed out that aren't exactly factually correct that happened at the State of the Union address. Um, first of all, let's just dive in because I just want to get through them quickly. The first being that the Obama administration has cut the deficit by three quarters, which is a completely made up statistic. They did document that as of last year, he has been closing in the deficit of his previous term spending, but until then, he had spent already what the Bush administration had of the deficit. Also, the claim that anyone who is talking about America's economy being in decline is peddling fiction is clearly just a shot at the Democratic candidates running who are stating that the economy is in decline because they need to, because it is, because jobs are stagnant and raises aren't happening and the middle class is crumbling and yet we have the leader of our country telling us otherwise. This is why nobody trusts government officials. Also, his claims of the Affordable Care Act, which is a complete joke at this point, but his claims for that uh, filling in the gaps, as you might say, of helping make sure that everyone in this country is insured, when literally it's little less than making every citizen in this country responsible for obtaining things that they don't have the means to do. Nobody's talking about the fact that once Affordable Care Act was pushed onto every person in this country, that also made deductibles and premiums skyrocket for people who could not afford them because insurance companies refused to pick up the back end. This has literally hurt millions of people across the country, and our government knows full and well. The big one that I really want to get into is him talking about him being a pioneer in making sure that the internet remains an open forum. Of course, that is what we need. You guys, millennials, anyone young watching this, please understand that having an open and free internet is not only important, it is vital to us surviving. Humanity needs a safe space where freedom of speech is not restricted. The internet, however it came about to be, because if you believe that Al Gore invented it, you are clearly drinking the Kool-Aid. However, whatever means it came about, it was definitely a gift onto humanity that really meant to help us thrive and exchange knowledge without it being hidden or corrupted. If we allow governments to at all peddle inside of an open market like the internet, we are asking for severe punishment. The Obama administration has done nothing to make sure the internet remains an open and safe space. Know that going forward and do not believe anything without fully investigating it for yourselves. This is an issue that nobody can stress enough. You do not understand what the internet is. It is going to morph into something we can't even explain. The government knows that, and it is our responsibility to preserve it for generations to come. This is real, and this is stuff we are being lied to on a daily basis, openly in front of us, to our face. We need to take the power back, talk about it, and make sure everybody is aware that the internet is in danger of becoming something it was never meant to be. So let's make sure we do not allow that to happen. Next, I almost think it's laughable that Obama even commented on his efforts towards clean energy and America's investment in such, because his failed attempts are almost mockable at the least. This is ridiculous when you look at it, Obama trying to claim being a president involving himself in clean energy efforts. When you look back at his involvement with not only the Keystone Pipeline coming through the U.S., but also with fracking, which has been linked to contaminating water and soil in surrounding areas. And that's only what we know it's doing so far. These things are not anything a president should be boasting about let alone comparing to using with clean energy. These aren't clean forms of anything. We are aware through people such as Dr. Stephen Greer that our government has obtained technologies advanced enough to create clean energy and that it's possible to get it to everyone in the world. 
The fact that we're being lied to so blatantly just shows you that we're supposed to remain dumb and silent. This is sad. He also made clear that with his daily briefings, he is well aware that this is a dangerous time for our nation, which is quite ironic when a lot of independent media sources called out the fact that Obama regularly skips his debriefings every morning. So that's some information that makes you question, why even bring it up at all? Then we have the troubling fact that he addressed Congress as most Americans are well aware that the only people who are privileged enough to remain safely in the position that they hold now for the rest of their life until retirement, which then is guaranteed to them until death, are the people that were inside those chambers at the moment, in which they responded with laughter. That's pretty ballsy for a group of people that is controlling where this nation is headed, knowing that they're the slave master of the people that are ready to give up. It's scary that that received laughs. These are the people that are in charge of making our law. Lastly, I just wanted to talk about the fact that I think it's really nerve-wracking, to say the least, that Obama used this opportunity in his last State of the Union address to almost instill fear in the American people by saying that, with examples in the past, that nobody is allowed to threaten America, you do not come at America. If you choose to not agree with America, we come after you. Case in point, Osama bin Laden. That just didn't sit well with me. The fact that he's taunting other nation's leaders with a man who may have been killed over a false flag war, that just makes me nervous how trigger happy our country's leaders may be. These are all things that I really do feel like the younger generation needs to be talking about. We have a power in our voice. Let's get it out there and make sure that secrets don't remain that way, because we need the truth out there in order to get any sort of representation in a leadership role. Again, I can only end this video by stating, feel the burn 2016, man. He's the only help. Look into him. Trust me. Anyway, take care of yourself for the rest of today. I will see you tomorrow with more hard-hitting news. Just kidding. But I am glad to be giving you these topics, and I look forward to you giving me more information about any of them. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace.